The University of Washington acknowledges the Coast Salish peoples of this land, the land which touches the shared waters of all tribes and bands within the Suquamish, Tulalip, and Muckleshoot nations. take my mask off. Hi everyone, it's good to see you. I'm Mindy Kornberg and I'm the Vice President for UW Human Resources. I have the unique privilege of serving as the executive sponsor of the Distinguished Staff Award and I'm thrilled to be here with you in person for the first time I think maybe in three years. We have made a few changes to the Distinguished Staff Awards, including introducing a live stream option for nominees and others who wish to join us remotely. So, hello everyone. Today, here in this ballroom and online, we are surrounded by those who reflect our UW values and contribute at such high levels that colleagues, managers, students, invested significant time and effort in sharing stories of their impact. Please join me in officially welcoming all of our 2023 nominees. <laughs> the countless achievements of UW staff elevate our university and contribute to an unparalleled experience by both those who teach and work here, as well as those who come here for a world-class education and for patient care. Today, we will celebrate nominations of individuals and teams being recognized in one of the five following categories. Career achievement, collaboration, diversity and equity inclusion, wow. Im <laughs> impact and innovation. As we get today's program started, I would like to ask that our nominees under career achievement, please come to my right of the stage with your nomination card. Shall I repeat that? <laughs> As we get today's program started, those who are in the career achievement, please come on up with your nomination card to the right. As they assemble, I'd like to give a big shout out to our DSA Selection Committee. These awards would not be possible without their hard work, which, by the way, they do on a voluntary basis, carefully reading all of the inspiring nominations. From there, they have the very, very difficult task of selecting the staff awardees to be announced later this spring at the Award of Excellence ceremony. For our committee members that are here today, if you could please stand when I call your name so that we can recognize all of your work that makes this award possible. Gwyneth Palmer. Gwyneth is standing. <laughs> Director, of, Director of Projects and Strategic Initiatives, UW Human Resources. Hannah Barnett, HR Operations and UW Human Resources. Elaine Ukasho, Director of UW Medical Northwest. <laughs> Yadisa Bojiya, <laughs> Graphic Designer, Housing and Food Services. Lauren Carter, Research Scientist Engineer, Principal School of Medicine. <laughs> Jillian Leahy, Operations Supervisor, UW Tacoma. Rekid Motkin, Hospital Assistant Administrator, UW Medical Center, Montlake. <laughs> Christy Sherwood, HR Director, Graduate School. <laughs> and lastly, Michael Yashida, Program Support Supervisor, UW Facilities. <laughs> Everyone, please thank, join me in thanking the Selection Committee. Now, I'd like to introduce President Anamari Kausi, who continually strives to bring our community together through our ongoing challenges and achievements. I have firsthand 
seen her commitment to fostering values of unity, compassion, and excellence that make the UW such an impactful, welcoming place. Please welcome President Kause. You know, it's so much fun to be getting back to these kind of in-person celebrations and to be back in community all together, including those of you that are, you know, that are watching. We've learned how to do things in all kinds of new ways and shapes and form, and uh, it really is fabulous uh, to be back. You know, we really are, as a university, so incredibly fortunate to have such an outstanding group of talented people on our staff across all our three campuses. You know, I, you know, you know, sometimes, you know, and it's important, our faculty and our students are absolutely important. They're the reason why we're here. But sometimes I think that staff gets overlooked and you really are the glue that keeps this university all together. I've been here long enough to know that, you know, I was talking to a, a dean candidate who was saying, you know, who was asking me, who's, you know, I, I need someone to mentor me. And I said, that's what staff is for. <laughs> All my training has come uh, from the fabulous staff that I work with. And I want you to know that I recognize what an absolutely critical part you are to making our fabulous university fabulous. Um, and, you know, it's really even more amazing um, when I think about, I think sometimes people um, think about universities in a fairly narrow way. It's about classrooms and it's about, you know, English or math courses, but the incredible diversity of skills and talents that you bring because of just how broad our impact is and how diverse um, the services that we give to our community are. As staff members, you make our university the incredible resource that it is for students, for faculty, for the state, and quite frankly, for the world. And today, we're gonna celebrate the cream of the crop. Um, so those of you that are extra, extra special, staff members who've been recognized by their colleagues and leaders for being the best of the best. And that's what I think is so important, is this isn't, you know, I mean, as much as, you know, maybe some of you like the fact that I'm recognizing you, I'm very thrilled about it, I can tell you. But this, you know, what's really special is you're being recognized by your peers, by the people who work with you side by side, by the people who benefit from your talent. And that is what makes this extra special. So I want to take a minute to congratulate our nominees and thank you for, for ensuring that our almost 60,000 undergraduate and graduate students have a pathway to their dreams. You make that possible. So take a moment and let's clap for yourselves. You also support groundbreaking research. The research that was done here, we like to say it saves lives in a metaphorical sense. The research that's done here saves lives in a literal sense. I mean, what we did in terms of the COVID response and the fact that we became model, models for people across the nation, it was, it was in 2020, three days ago, that we became the first university to go online setting the standard for everybody else. The work that we do here matters. Um, you keep this, you know, we're a very complicated organism. We're a living university, and you keep it running efficiently and effectively. Nominees, each of you has demonstrated integrity, excellence, collaboration, and innovation through your work. And I'm so proud to be here um, together with your friends and family to honor you today. And I really want to welcome all your friends and family. I know that I can certainly, if you talk to my family, uh, you know, they tell you that, uh, you know, they're long hours and that, you know, you have sometimes had to sacrifice um, because of your family member um, working that extra push, et cetera. So I really thank you for the support that you've given them. The support that you've given them is really support that you've given us and our state and the world. Um, and so thank you for joining us today, whether it's in person or online. Um, and I'm sure that they're not, that the nominations, the fact that they're being honored is no surprise to you. 
And thank you to all the nominators. I know that it takes time to write a good nomination. Um, ChatGPT may help a little bit, but you know, <laughs> only, only you know how to write a good nomination. And thank you for taking the time to write that nomination, to put in the extra time to make sure that those um, colleagues of yours are being recognized. And finally, I want to give a special thank you to the UW leaders who are in attendance today. Uh, you exemplify the values that we celebrate. And a few of these folks may be you know, wandering in at different times. But Mindy, of course, our Vice President for Human Resources. Cindy Hecker, our Chief Executive Officer for the UW Medical Center. Ricky Hall, our Vice President for the Office of Minority Affairs and Diversity and our University Diversity Offer. Renee Cheng, who's coming in in a few minutes, Dean of our College of Built Environments. And I also want to mention that our Dean of the College of Arts and Sciences, Diane Harris, really was looking forward to being here. This would have been her first celebration, but she couldn't. She's under the weather, and so we're all wishing her a speedy recovery. And now, I want you to join me. I get to do the very first award, so I get to be you know, extra special cool. Um, I want you to join me in welcoming Elaine Akasho, Director of Equity, Diversity, and Inclusion for UWMC Patient Services. She also serves on the DSA Selection Committee, and she's going to be announcing the nominees for career achievement. These are staff members who have dedicated their careers to the UW, um, sometimes 20, 30, even 40 years of service. I came here in 1986, and some of them came here before I did. Dinosaurs used to, you know, um, be on these grounds, and they were here. And they've demonstrated their excellence throughout that time. The nominations in this category are some of the most moving and heartfelt tributes that have been received. And as someone who, like I say, I've, I'm, I'm inching up on that 40-year mark, I'm especially proud to congratulate these nominees. And I understand why you've stayed here, because this place really is special. So please hold your applause until we've announced all of our career achievement, achievement nominees. Araba Cabarro, Medical Assistant Lead, UWMC Digestive Health Center. Araba, Araba has been an integral part of the Digestive Health Center at UWMC for the past two decades. His high standards help our department maintain a safe and welcoming work environment for us all. Araba was also nominated under the category of impact. Leo Igashira, Senior Research Coordinator, Department of Psychiatry and Behavioral Sciences in the School of Medicine. Leo has consistently demonstrated excellence in research coordination with over 100 tribal communities throughout his career at UW. From ensuring over 3,000 tribal college students participated in a survey of alcohol use and protective factors, to supporting participation of tribal health providers in an elder fall prevention. We know more about tribal public health because of his singular efforts. Mike Morris, Program Support Supervisor, UW Facilities Moving Services. Over his 40-year career at UW, Mike has exemplified dedication, generosity, and providing outstanding customer service in each of his roles. During times of increased service demand and significant staff shortages, Mike is resilient and moves forward, modeling a level of consistency and positivity that is inspiring. Eva Trembach, research scientist, College of Arts and Sciences. Eva is a composer, violinist, and research scientist for digital arts and experimental media. She is always willing to go above and beyond to help students and people in our community, and in many ways, she is like the glue that holds the department together. Martha Walsh, Managing Editor, Jackson School of International Studies. Martha has been the gold standard at UW for over 45 years and serves as the rock of the Japan Studies Program and for the Journal of Japanese Studies. She steers the, the journal and the program, keeping them at the top of their fields while chairs and co-editors have come and gone. Her tireless dedication and outstanding care for everything she does has benefited thousands of students, chairs, professors, editors, and staff for over 45 years. 
Linda Nelson, Associate Dean for Finance and Administration, College of Arts and Sciences. Linda is the perfect mix of integrity, excellence, and R-E-S-P-E-C-T, as she is also an avid music lover of all genres. She has been with UW for 36 years and most recently has fearlessly led the college through a pandemic, a new dean, and to come, the, finan the UW financial transformation. She continuously strives to do better and be better, all the while encouraging others to do so as well. Juanita Ricks, Assistant Dean for Students, School of Public Health. Juanita is the consummate equity-focused leader and mentor, balancing a student-centered approach in all her work while maintaining unwavering support for the staff and faculty that she mentors. Lastly, Farina Shokri, Clinical Laboratory Supervisor, Harborview Medical Center Pathology. Farinas is an exceptionally committed, talented, and dedicated manager. Her nearly 30-year career at UW has contributed to significant growth and improvement in our department and medical center. So we will now recognize our DSA nominees for career achievement that are participating in our live stream. Rosa Liu. Director of Veteran Services and Disability, Resources for Students, UW Bothell Enrollment Management and Student Affairs. Rosa brings so much joy and impact to her work, from administrative work at UW Seattle to leadership and innovation at UW Bothell. She maintains institutional knowledge and finds ways to better the community. Rosa's work in establishing the Veterans Archway and DRS Testing Center, among other achievements, brings light to the Veteran Services and Disability Resources for Students Department. Erin Morlow, Research Scientist, Marine Chemistry Lab. Erin has dedicated 25 years to providing data and tech support in the aquatic sciences. His commitment and dependability has allowed us to carry on the tradition of generating accurate and consistent data for aquatic researchers, researchers in this broader community, as well as training and guiding future generations of oceanographers. Please join me in congratulating all of our nominees in the Career Achievement category. The nominees under the Collaboration category, please stand and assemble to my right. And the team nominees, please group together in your team and line up behind the individuals. Uh, I would also like to ask Gwyneth Parmar, UW HR's Director for Strategic Initiatives and Project and DSA Selection Committee Co-Chair back up to the stage to introduce you all to Cindy Hecker, who is our Chief Executive Officer for UW Medical Center. Thank you very much. All right. This is an extremely large group and I'm very excited to be here to recognize these incredible nominees. So good afternoon, I'm Cindy Hecker, UW Medical Center's CEO, and I am extremely pleased to be here to introduce this year's Distinguished Staff Award nominees who are being honored today for their outstanding collaboration in their various roles. One of UW's most important values is collaboration. The nominees in this group amplify how teamwork can have a profound effect on the success of our departments and our entire organization. As a UW medicine leader, I am fortunate to see every day countless examples of staff collaboration. This collaboration it is what allows us to provide outstanding high quality care and support to thousands of patients that come through our doors in need. 
Each of you here today are being celebrated for bringing creativity, skill, compassion, and collaboration to your specific teams. I am honored to be with you here today, and I'd like to congratulate all of this year's nominees. Thank you very much. Jean Brownwell, Program Manager, School of Social Work. Jean leads and works in a way that brings out the best in each person and every project. Her natural ability to draw diverse perspectives and talents together creates an environment that produces work that is greater than the sum of its parts. Stephen Roberts, Assistant Director for Creative Communications. Creative Communications. Stephen leads with good business sense mixed in with a big dose of compassion. He can be seen walking through the building daily, checking in on coworkers. He says yes to just about anything he is asked. Mailing services under his direction provides more than just mail delivery. During their routes, his teams pick up and deliver needed items to campus, including service awards, library books, PPE, or even a laptop to a customer working at home who cannot come to campus. The UW community is lucky to have this dedicated, collaborative, and creative human. Guy Hao Nguyen. Hoi has been able to leverage her knowledge and skills not only to help bring awareness to human rights and their associated abuses to students on campus, but also through her partnering with local and international organizations. She works to further the cause of indigenous rights, environmental sustainability, and improve conditions for those incarcerated at the Northwest Detention Center and in the, in the affected in El Salvador. Lindsay Blakey, Program Coordinator, UW Bothell School of Business. Lindsay is a superstar member of the student success team in the, business, in the School of Business. She has worked to advance and support our staff, our students, and our faculty. And we are a better place because of her. The school would not be nearly as effective or agile without her organization, innovation, and collaboration. Amorsolo Jojo Ancheta. Patient Services Specialist, UW Medical Center. Jojo is a PSS for the UWMC Medical Specialties Department and has weathered through some very trying times, including the Great Flood of 2021. Through his respectful and compassionate interactions with others, he embraces diversity and models inclusion. Jennifer McEwen. Associ Assistant Dean for Finance and Administration, Evans School of Public Policy and Governance. Jennifer's strategic management, strong passion for collaborative work, empathetic leadership, and deep knowledge of UW enables the Evans School to not only successfully navigate this period of continual growth, but to thrive during these last years of change. She is a bright star in our constellation. Santi Piramal, Assistant Dean for Finance and Administration, College of Education. Santi is a trusted colleague with a big heart and a collegial spirit. She has a combination of hard skills and soft skills to collaborate, support, and execute our work effectively. She always provides a thoughtful response based on collaborate, collaborating to modernize our approaches in financial planning and administration. Laura Barrera, Assistant Director for Advancement Services, College of Built Environments. Laura is a key member of our team. Students have benefited from her work, which includes highlights like record-breaking fundraising and a new mentorship program. She brings a thoughtful perspective to her work as co-chair of the Diversity Council and helps the college reach its DEI goals. Laura brings grounding presence to those she works with, helping collaborators find concrete ways to accomplish their goals. Aaron Hope, Business Systems Analyst, Housing and Food Services. Aaron is a leader who drives success and impact across the Housing and Food Services Department. She is thorough and solid in her business analysis work. Her impact has shined during the UWFT project. 
She is at the forefront of all our integrations and our future finance process changes. She leans in to ensure change impact across her team are addressed. And as a unit readiness lead, she has taken on the role with grace and persistence. Basha Otto, Events and Communications Specialist, Department of Global Health. Basha has strong commitment and experience in working with faculty, staff, supervisor, advisors, and students, both within and outside the department. From managing departmental servers and social media channels and coordinating logistics for upcoming events to fostering a collaborative and supportive workplace environment, Basha is an integral part of the Department of Global Health and the larger UW community. Jennifer Weiss, Administrator, College of the Environment. Jen has established herself as a collaborative leader of administrative operations. Her strong collaborative leadership style has produced positive change in the staff culture and effectiveness of the school. The result has been a renewed collective commitment to the work for the benefit of both the schools and staff satisfaction. I'm running out of room for all these wonderful cards. Stephanie Parker, Executive Assistant to the Vice President, UW Facilities. People never remember the crowd. They remember the one person that had the courage to say and do what no one would do. Stephanie is that one person and deserves to be recognized for her ability to constructively bring people together. Megan Kennedy, Director, Resilience Lab, Undergraduate Academic Affairs. Megan has trained hundreds of UW staff, faculty, and students, as well as even more Seattle area professionals and providers in well-being initiatives. She has also spearheaded community-wide initiatives that improve the well-being of the general population, as well as marginalized individuals. Megan has also designed and implemented new campus services that fill areas of need in campus wellness and the higher, higher education development. Pete Limbacher, Program Operations Specialist, Airlift Northwest. Pete is an expert. He spent many years as an expert flight nurse, percepting new flight nurses and teaching them the fine art of critical care, air medical transport. His ability to collaborate within the airlift lift team, as well as with partner agencies, hospitals, and suppliers, gave him a well-earned reputation of a consummate professional who consistently seeks to improve mission readiness, and through that, the care of our citizens. Celeste Nashef, Robotics Lab Manager, Allen School of Computer Science and Engineering. Celeste joined us in April of 2021, and his immense contributions have made him indispensable. He creates a welcoming and safe environment for all of us. Because of him, we have become more tight-knit, collaborative, and organized, and we are forever grateful. <laughs> Vanessa Lipton, Senior Informatics Specialist, UW Medicine Information Technology. Vanessa is an exceptional and essential part of ITS's ambulatory clinical informatics team. Her work updating the EHR hub and EPIC newsletters keeps everyone up to date. She goes above and beyond for her teammates and end users and is a brilliant collaborator, a mentor, and role model. Vanessa has made huge impacts to the UW as an organization, and we are all very lucky to have her. <laughs> Megan Kronk. Business Operations Manager, UWMC Ambulatory Care Division. Megan is literally a lifesaver through her pivotal role in setting up one of the first drive-up COVID test sites in the country. Her ability to solve problems big and small has helped us to do something never done before. Megan received a second nomination under the impact category. Evan Hickey. Assistant Director of Academic Services, UW Bothell. Evan goes out of her way to ensure the engagement of every physics student with the faculty in the form of mentorship and professional and research opportunities. She makes key contributions to the organization of the curriculum while advocating for students at an individual level. Jennifer Malahan, Labor Relations Negotiator, UW Human Resources. 
As a labor relations negotiator, you are often caught in the middle, trying to find common ground and a path forward. It is sometimes intense, often complex, and on those days when you reach a collaborative agreement, immensely rewarding. Jennifer approaches this work with a highly collaborative spirit and her success in bringing together various stakeholders to disentangle complex situations and resolve disputes is truly remarkable. Zaran Kelly, medical assistant, Harborview Medical Center Adult Medicine Clinic. Zaran is the linchpin of Adult Medicine Clinic. He goes above and beyond every single moment of every single day with humility and generosity. He is always available to help and is truly responsible for making sure every patient and every provider has what they need to provide outstanding care. <laughs> Danafe Matusalem, Academic Services Specialist, School of Medicine Bioengineering. Danafe is a collaborative, professional, kind, knowledgeable, and proficient. She is juggling many tasks between course curriculum evaluations during each quarter and does it with efficiency and grace. Kelly Oleniak, Research Coordinator, Department of Chemistry. Over the past year, Kelly has been the engine driving the center's cohesiveness and success in bringing students and faculty together to perform research as a unified team. This is extraordinarily challenging and requires a focused effort to bring down barriers laterally between disciplines and vertically within organization, the organization between students, postdocs, faculty, and staff. Stacia Green, Assistant to the Chair, Human-Centered Design and Engineering. Stacia embodies collaboration in all that she does. She seeks input and consensus from others, is always willing to volunteer to help train others, and builds teams to solve a variety of challenging and, and complex problems with patience and grace. <laughs> Lucia Ersfeld, Director of Pro Special Programs and Administration Operations, College of Engineering. Lucia approaches her work with grace, patience, and excellence. Her contributions range from creating a smooth transition to hybrid schedules to managing campus-wide initiatives. Her colleagues describe her as an amazing partner with an enormous range of skills, impeccable attention to details, and a work ethic that is unrivaled. Tony Hahn, Research Scientist, School of Medicine Bioengineering. Tony inspires everyone in the lab with her passion and ability to create a supportive and inclusive community. She goes into every task with 100% effort, dedication, and kindness. Her presence on a team always gives us more confidence about a project. Logistics Team, School of Medicine. Stephen Houck, William Kugel, Luis Magana, Charles Poole, Dialysis Tugonan, Les Suelen. The Department of Comparative Medicine's logistics team has fully embraced the spirit of collaboration. Collaboration both within their team and with other individuals and groups to benefit of animal care, other university personnel, and the conduct of research. They have done this despite the fact that they work in a high pressure, physically demanding, and fast-paced environment and have had staffing challenges since the early days of the pandemic. UW Tower Team. Danny Forsyth, Henry Balanon, Nate Sifuegos, Adam Diary, Square Donaldson, Alfonso Escobar, Rodney Figaro, Stephen Garcia, Asafash Gabrea, Peter Gorskovsky, Saba Hadgu, Sege Hailu, Bart Hermes, Harry Lapierre, Jacinda Luna, Hayat Mohammed, Kim Akyong, Teresita Perry, Mark Pruitt, Rogelio Perganan, David, David Record, Giovanni Rivas, Mary Russell, Luang Saeli, and Ivan Tupis. Diversity is the glue that keeps us together, and the UW Tower team exemplifies that statement. This collaborative team includes four essential departments, custodial services, 
mailing services and copy center, tower security and tower facilities all bring together a diverse team of individuals with different backgrounds and experiences, united in serving the departments and teams housed in the UW Tower. Population Health Panel Navigators, UW Medicine, Sarah Bigand, Amy Bourgeois, Augie Eddings, Molly Fassler, Marissa Garcia, Ala Jenkins, Kelly Lamb, Ivan Liu, Erin Larson, Annika Lindbergh, Bryn Partridge, Carling Rutenbeck, Dylan Tharp, Richie Thomas, and Preeti Trivedi. Part of the efforts of the panel of navigators is to reduce the disparity in breast cancer screening for black and African American women. Toward the achievement of this goal, Ali Jenkins, the panel and navigator at the Federal Way Clinic, was selected as the 2023 UW Health Sciences Martin Luther King Jr. awardee for UW Primary Care. This has been seen as a recognition for the whole team, which devoted August and October to outreach and patient engagement to help address health disparities in breast cancer screening for black and African American women across all of UW's 30 mile radius. We will now recognize our DSA nominees under the collaboration category that are participating via our live stream. After one more. <laughs> Wait, where is it? Okay. Master of Science in Entrepreneurship, Foster School of Business, Samantha Ogle, Courtney Omlin. <laughs> This small team is key in facilitating the smooth running of the Master in Science and Entrepreneurship program at the Foster School of Business. The team is also instrumental in keeping industry professionals engaged and making this program world class. As students, this team provides peace of mind knowing we can focus on learning and making a difference in the world. We're now going to <laughs> recognize our DSA nominees who are joining us live stream. Jessica Valoy, Administrative Specialist in Neurology. Jessica's title and job description do not begin to encompass the work she does, not just in neurology, but in the many other areas in the School of Medicine. She is incredibly knowledgeable, hardworking, personable, and our departments would not be what they are without her support and excellence. Marissa Radeski. Public Services Supervisor, Law Library. Every time Marissa has been offered an opportunity to learn new skills or take on new projects, she has said yes. She has taken on the implementation of the ideas generated by users, employees, and administrators. Marissa's contributions have impacted the UW law community at every level. Angie Nicholson, Registered Nurse, UWMC Urology Clinic. Angie is an invaluable member and leader at the UWMC Urology Clinic. She brightens everyone's day with her humor and is the glue that keeps everyone together. She has led the clinic through thick and thin, coming up with quick and witty solutions to sticky situations. Kira King, Senior Academic Counselor, UW Tacoma School of Engineering and Technology. Kira is a truly amazing collaborative leader in her work with students. She brings together staff, faculty, and experts to remove barriers, barriers in our system that might prevent students from thriving. She works directly with students to make sure they succeed in engineering, particularly our women and BIPOC students. She is a wonderful example of UW staff excellence. James McGurin, Lead Epic Database Administrator, UW Medicine IT. James is the exemplification of collaboration. He works with all, mentor, all members of the teams to assist and mentor and guide. He is the go-to for new members of other teams on best practices in EPIC, even though it's not part of his job requirements. He is an ideal representative of the team and leads and more. Nicole Gunther, Assistant Director, School of Social Work. Nicole's dedication to students is paramount and she consistently brings so much heart and attention to her role. She always takes a student-centered approach, 
the breadth and depth of her knowledge and extensive willingness to identify and create pathways for student success are formidable and always shared, shared by her team with deep compassion and empathy. Amanda Garza, Program Manager, School of Medicine. Amanda is the glue that keeps our center together. Her gentle and respectful leadership allows others to shine and achieve short and long-term programmatic goals. Her passion for program management is embodied through her can-do attitude, growth mindset, and effective communication. Marina Gano, Graduate Program and Operations Manager, Department of Pharmacy. Marina's skillful collaboration has resulted in new and improved resources for our community, specifically a new bias and misconduct reporting resource. She expertly balances providing superior service to her unit with focus on efforts that support our broader school community. Serena Davis, registered nurse, UWMC Critical Care. Serena is one of the most professional, educated, and experienced nurses here at the UW. But most importantly, she possesses the gentlest attitude toward people, has superior communication skills, and provides the best clinical care while helping people grow professionally. Melissa Brown, Organizational Development Specialist, Transportation Services. Melissa represents the epitome of collaboration. She consistently seeks out ways to offer support while maintaining a level of excellence that elevates her work, her peers, and the university as a whole. She is a joy to work with, and our gratitude for the magnitude and influence of her efforts is beyond measure. Shauna Ava, Administrator, Department of Linguistics. Shauna is an honest person with a heart to help others. She promises quality work and delivers it on time. She is a gentle soul who always inquires about others' well-being. She has helped shape her coworkers' careers and has clarity in the mission and vision of the department. Any workplace would benefit from managers like Shauna. Cassie Atkinson's Edwards, Manager of Special Projects, Epidemiology. Cassie is a talented weaver and mover of our department. She is a go-to source for support and always goes above and beyond. She is the key person moving forward our anti-racist strategic plan and always collaborates to make sure members of our community are supported. UW Recycling Operations at UW Facilities. Franklin Becker, Chris Forbes, Hector Martel, Dean Spieman, David Speed, Mike Westerberg, and Vinnie Yock. The UW Recycling Operations teams works diligently and safely to provide waste services to campus every day. These, surf these services often go unseen, but these hardworking staff members are one of the reasons the Seattle campus is such a beautiful place to study, work, and visit. Their team helps the UW to be a pinnacle of sustainability, and our customers appreciate it. UW Retiree Relations and UW Retirement Association University Advancement. Kathy Randolph, Jennifer Small, Stephanie Starkovich. University Advancement's three-person retiree relations team embodies the integrity and values of UW's public mission. In collaboration with UW Retirement Association, this team engages and stewards 10,000 plus retirees, including 2,500 UWRA, UWRA members acknowledging and honoring the long-standing service of UW employees and the continued impact of UW retirees have on the UW and our, whole, and our local and global communities. From a foundation of collaboration and innovation, the retiree relations team continues to foster purpose, meaning, and belonging with this unique constituency of current and former employees who have dedicated their professional lives to the UW. Please join me in congratulating all of our nominees being celebrated for their ability to effectuate change and collaboration. Nominees under the DEI category, please stand and assemble to my right. Individual nominees, please stand at the front of the line closest to the stage. Team nominees, please group together in your team lined up behind the individual nominees. Is it hard to? That's the first time no one's been able to hear me ever in my life. Nominees under the DEI category, please assemble to my right at the stage. 
Individuals, please gather at the front in line. Team nominees, please gather with your teams behind the individual nominees. I would now like to welcome graphic designer from Housing and Food Services, DSA Selection Committee member Yarisa Bogia to the stage. I also have the privilege of introducing you to the Vice President for the Office of Minority Affairs and Diversity and University Diversity Officer, Ricky Hall. Hi, welcome. I've got a whole lot to get off here. Too much to, so many to congratulate. It is. Okay, sir, take it away. Good to be here and to be in community with you all the day. Good afternoon to all of the nominees in attendance today, as well as all of those who are here to support you. I want to begin with gratitude. I'm grateful that we are a part of a university that places equity, diversity, inclusion, and belonging among our top priorities. We do this through an equity lens with empathy and unwavering dedication to make our learning, working, and living environments more accessible, welcoming, and inclusive for students, faculty, staff, and visitors. Advancing equity is never an easy task. Together we face many obstacles, including structural racism and biases. But together we can develop an atmosphere where, where we can be our authentic selves, share our lived experiences, and learn from one another. I have said many times before that diversity is everyone's everyday work. The nominees that we are about to recognize exemplify those sentiments. Through your efforts, we have seen advances in accessibility, opportunity, and belonging across our university and community. Please join me in congratulating them. Nisha Valdez, Human Resources Manager, Department of Astrology, Astronomy. Tanisha has the glue that holds the Astronomy Department together along multiple axes and has led a number of new initiatives that will make access to resources more equitable for our students. She's a true superstar. Tanisha also received another nomination under the category of impact. Diana Simbar, Counseling Services Coordinator, College of Built Environment. Diana supports several successful initiatives to recruit and support students of color and first generation students in the Department of Urban Design and Planning. Through her people-centered leadership style and her exemplary listening skills, Diana creates a workplace culture of care and inclusion. Victoria Parker, Administrative Assistant, Law School. Vicky has worked tirelessly at the Law School to provide course support for faculty at the moment's notice, as well as working, work to bring great attention to issues of diversity, equity, and inclusion. She's also incredibly kind and loving and cares deeply about her UW Law community. Yeah. <laughs> Demarius Ibanez, Young Executive of Color Program Manager, Forster School of Business. Demarius have supported hundreds of Biopark students in preparing and succeeding in higher education. She's pivotal in creating a space in which students can learn, grow, and inspire one another. Russell Colander, Director, Washington C. Grant. Russell had made foundational changes, pushing to open the door to more diversity, equity, and inclusion, and contributed to building a welcoming and resp respectful learning environment. 
He has created a space for these principles to thrive for years to come. Chloe Dolce Mandeville, Assistant Director for Academic Services, Computer Science and Engineering. Chloe leads a diversity of access teams whose mission is to attract and educate students who reflect the many dimensions of diversity in Washington. In this work, she has helped oversee the devel development and implementation of programs, policies, and student groups that have made an immeasurable impact on countless computer science students. Tamara Saladay, Coding Education Analyst, UDA Medicine, Enterprise Records, and Health Information. Tamara's passion for her work and commitment to support and educate fellow coders is unparalleled. Her selfless efforts have a direct impact on the team around her and the staff she supports, creating a positive work environment that allows employees to shine. Leah Spanchiri, nurse manager, Uda Medical Center. Leah has created a community where all feel welcomed, kindness, encouragement, appreciation of and for one another, friendship and laughter are the standard. While we continue to face the challenges of an ongoing pandemic, it's an essential and critical element to have someone as deftly skilled and stewardship as Leah. Internal Medicine Residency Program, School of Medicine. Andrea Campbell, Kelly Locke, Whitney Harper, Kelly Corning, Javel Cullen. This team has demonstrated a long-standing commitment and excellence to equity, diversity, and inclusion, and contributed significantly to building a welcoming and respectful learning and working environment. In the face of overwhelming challenge, they have embraced changes and identified that their core values go well beyond training superb clinicians. Their commitment to promoting leadership, wellness, and advocacy, while striving to recruit residents from diverse backgrounds and experiences, better serve patients, and actively promote inclusion. UW Human Resources DEI team. Leslie Clark, Virginia Fausto, Bethany Hamamoto Robinson, Jamie Wilson. UW Human Resources Collaboration and Innovation DEI team has had a tremendous impact in 2022. They participated in counseling, outreaching, and advocacy around diversity, equity, inclusion, and numerous leaders, staff, and groups across the UW. Offer training in an intersectionality, allyship, inclusive language, biopack healing and community building, and other topics to hundreds of UW employees. Launched the biopack staff development program to help advance a culture of inclusion and foster community. Development, engagement, and retention among the UW staff who identify as biopack and are preparing to launch a scholarship program to improve access to career and professional development. Title IX Training and Education Working Committee. Diana Blanchfield, Michelle Carbera, Erin Casey, Lisa Hanna, Lauren Lichty, Erin O'Connell, John Payne, Jessica Rashid, Jane Stablon, Sablan, Paige Seacrest, Kiana Swinton, Elizabeth Wil Wilmerding. This team was charged in August 2019 by the Title IX Steering Committee to create content for an online course focused on the prevention and response to sex and gender-based violence and harassment. This small but mighty team worked together over the course of two years in consultation with multiple stakeholders to develop a content for what is now a Husky prevention and response student and employee courses. Online training courses that provide foundational information regarding equity, inclusion for all members of UW community. 
we have that online. We will now recognize uh, our DSA nominees under the diversity, equity, and inclusion category that are participating in our live stream. Michael Steinberg, patient service specialist, Uda Medical Center, Digestive Health Center. Michael has worked on the team for over 10 years and provides the best patient experience possible. His title doesn't begin to capture all the work he does. He always takes an extra time or step whether he's working with the patient or with the team members. As a first point of contact, he puts our patients at ease and is great at helping them navigate the UDAP system. Please join me in congratulating all of our nominees being celebrated for their ongoing effort in ad advancing diversity, equity, and inclusion in belonging at the University of Washington. Nominees under the impact category, please stand and assemble to my right. Individual nominees, please stand at the front of the line, closer to the stage. Team nominees, please group together in your team and line up behind the individuals. I would now like to welcome program manager for the Call You, Anna Tegelberg, to the stage and welcome back to the stage our Vice President for Human Resources, Mindy Kornberg. Uh, Mindy Kornberg. Now, we would like to introduce this year's nominees who are being recognized for the significant impact they have made at the UW and beyond. Whether they have improved the work of a team or a department or have contributed to positive lasting change within the broader population, this group of nominees inspires us all to do better through their work. Those being recognized today are truly dedicated to making a difference as they continually strive to improve the world around us in a meaningful way. These UW staff members make our local and global communities better places to learn and to live. And with that, I'd like to recognize our nominees who motivate us to strive toward greatness and to be boundless in all that we do. Anna. Mark Pukarik, Senior Project Manager, UW Facilities. Mark is the glue in our shop and helps out anyone at the drop of a dime. He is respected around campus and has a great attitude. He shares his abundant knowledge freely with anyone. Every day, he comes to work with a positive attitude and it shows in his performance. <laughs> Stephanie Nakamichi, Budget Fiscal Analyst Lead, College of the Environment. Stephanie is an amazing individual who makes a huge impact on those she leads and the College of the Environment. Her success in quickly building the EPAS team and meeting the needs of the College of the Environment during a time of staffing shortages and financial transformation is a testament to her contributions. <laughs> Alan Horn, Power Plant Mechanic Lead, UW Facilities. Through Alan's guidance and leadership, Shop 50 has gone through a very difficult machinery upgrade with no problems that we could not overcome. Alan's integrity and technical acumen has ensured that he is the go-to guy for success. <laughs> Fernanda Spratt, Associate Director for Talent Management, Advancement. Through her collaborative approach and wise counsel, Fernanda has helped countless team members come to the UW and grow as professionals here. 
She is a trusted advisor for leaders and team members alike and helps create a sense of belonging and a supportive environment for everyone in advancement. Fernanda received a second nomination under the category of collaboration. Merlita Bowes, patient care technician, UW Medical Center. Merlita's work ethic and selflessness are truly remarkable. She makes the people around her better and she cares for the physical, mental, and emotional health of her patients with the perfect combination of precision and grace. She is a teacher, a leader, and sets a lofty standard when it comes to caring for the whole patient. Anne Browning, Associate Dean for Wellbeing, School of Medicine. Anne's work has centered the well-being of our workforce throughout the COVID-19 pandemic. She brings resilient skill building to our entire community, sharing words that normalize struggles and bring hope. Kim Major, Patient Service Specialist, UW Medical Center. Kim has a wealth of knowledge when it comes to running the front desk of a unit. She is able to coordinate bed movement, speak with family visitors, and coordinate care with interdisciplinary teams. She communicates professionally and calmly and helps keep everything in order during high stress situations. <laughs> Beth Ann Hoover, Assistant Director of Academic Services, UW Tacoma. Beth Ann goes above and beyond in guaranteeing that students feel heard and are making the right choices for their future. She makes an incredible effort to help students achieve their goals. Lashina Taft, Graduate Program Coordinator, School of Law. Lashina is the Graduate Law Programs Coordinator. The title does little to explain how incredibly important she is to us in the graduate law programs and the law school as a whole. She is one of the loveliest humans around. Jennifer Lang Along, Associate Director for the Sustainable International Development Graduate Program, School of Law. Jennifer has spent nearly a decade mentoring and caring for students coming from diverse backgrounds and circumstances. Each year, she advises a diverse cohort of students from across the globe committed to careers in the rule of law, poverty alleviation, environmental conservation, and human rights. Shannon Bailey, Director, Live Well. Shannon is a lead Husky through and through. For over 20 years, she has consistently, with courage and commitment, led teams across challenging and unpredictable contexts in service of a better University of Washington. Her leadership has created and protected high quality health and safety resources for our UW community, like confidential advocacy for survivors, suicide intervention, alcohol and substance use, and health education. Rima Kulikowskis, Senior Research Scientist, Department of Dermatology. While Rima primarily focuses on name lab needs, she also leads major projects aimed at improving processes and research pipelines within the Division of Dermatology, which includes both clinical and basic research groups. Her numerous contributions facilitate translational science that has major implications for improving patient care and fostering the careers of junior physicians and scientists. Anique Atwater, Associate Director for Academic Services, Institute for Public Health Genetics. Anique is a remarkable individual, constantly seeking ways to improve the IPHG program and enhance the student experience. Through her tireless efforts, she has been instrumental in establishing sustainable systems and fostering a sense of community among students. Barbara Cloeno, Social Worker, Harborview Medical Center. Barb is an excellent social worker who illuminates Harborview's mission statement, caring for the most vulnerable residents with the utmost respect, compassion, and advocacy. She is an excellent patient advocate and great communicator with families. Esmeralda Polito, Director for the Program Management Office, UWMC Patient Care Services. Esme has distinguished herself in her work helping to advance UWMC as an anti-racist organization. In addition, she has had a powerful impact on IT optimization and team well-being. She provides expert leadership, allowing patient care teams to collaborate and achieve operational outcomes. <laughs> Yujiro Okiyoma, Administrator, Pediatrics. 
As the senior administrator of both the Division of Neonatal and Genetic Medicine, Ujiro's outstanding work on program development, strategic planning, research enterprise management, and management of administrative activities has been critical to the success of both divisions. Tony Garcia, Administrative Assistant, Department of Applied Mathematics. As the face of our department for all visitors, Tony is always friendly, cheery, and helpful. He makes everything easier, and his enduring positive attitude has helped greatly in the rebuilding of our community. <laughs> Jennifer Davison, Director, College of Built Environments. Jen has transformed the way we communicate and collaborate across the university and with our external partners. Throughout her work, she continues to champion equity and diversity with a critical lens on how we assess, recognize, and acknowledge our research, our partnerships, and the impact of our work. Alyssa Camp, Grants and Contracts Manager, Department of Pharmacy. Alyssa works efficiently and precisely to help many in the School of Pharmacy acquire research awards that fund innovation and impactful studies. Her knowledge of award proposals and processes allows our team to submit more applications, get more grants, and conduct better research. Gretchen Ludwig, Academic Services Associate Director, Department of Communication. Gretchen has been innovating ways for how our students and faculty to connect with the real world challenges. She incorporated design thinking and storytelling tools in creating intensive, team-based experiences across campus. Chelsea Navarro, Senior Academic Advisor, Allen School of Computer Science and Engineering. In the category of impact, Chelsea has dedicated her work to building an environment that welcomes transfer students, making sure they are seen and heard. Guiding students to make the transition to the University of Washington is a passion of hers, and she is determined to not let any student fall through. <laughs> Kathleen Rascone, Director of Student Services, Human Centered Design and Engineering. Kathleen's commitment to student well-being and growth is a critical factor of our amazing students. Her inquisitive nature has changed the way the department approaches everything from admissions to graduation and alumni. <laughs> Stephanie Lewis, Clinical Research Budget Team Lead, UW Medicine Clinical Trials Office. Stephanie is a kind, genuine, and caring person who cares about you as an individual, ensuring you have the resources and knowledge to be successful in your position. Stephanie is always supportive and there for you regardless of the situation. I'm honored to have Stephanie as a lead and words cannot describe how appreciative I am to be part of the clinical trials office. Lang Quach, Machinery Mechanic, UW School of Dentistry. Lang is the glue that holds our clinics together. We take for granted how chairs or lights work, and when they break, it is devastating. Lang shows up quickly, is always prepared, and has a smile on his face. He is kind, compassionate, and caring. Yeah! <laughs> Tracy Mashman Morrissey, Director of Academic Services, Department of History. Tracy's intelligence, professionalism, and warmth have had a transformative impact. She has contributed profoundly to the academic success of history majors and students taking history classes, to the experience that student transfer students have, to the success of the diversity minor, and to the supportive culture of the history department. <laughs> Kat Eli, Academic Services Director, College of Arts and Sciences. Kat frequently goes beyond what's expected to find creative ways to serve student needs. She also goes well beyond her expected job duties in ways that are enormously helpful to staff and faculty alike. She has done this with grace and good humor and with a consistent focus on improving morale. <laughs> James Churgai, registered nurse, UWMC Dermatology Clinic. James exemplifies what is needed during a transformational change, and he does so with enthusiasm. James's contributions have left a positive impact through his collaborative approach to problem solving. He leads and ensures no one is left behind in the process. <laughs> Jennifer Maryhugh, Senior Scientist and Lab Manager, Genome Sciences. 
Jennifer enables collaborative efforts across campus and several national and international Proto-Olympics consortia. She coordinates communication, sample distribution, and data dissemination across platforms. These projects would not have been as successful as they were without Jen's contributions. <laughs> Carrie Bubb, research scientist, Genome Sciences. Over 10 years of service, Carrie has contributed to many of our lab's high-impact publications and mentored hundreds of students. While she deserves the highest praise and promotions, she chooses to stay in the staff role to have a more direct support for lab members. Her humility and grace is an inspiration. <laughs> Crystal Berger, Medical Laboratory Science Lead, UW Medicine Lab Med Transfusion Services. Crystal is the lead assigned to training new employees in our laboratory. In the last year, almost half of our full-time employees quit due to higher wages at another local hospital. Our lab has trained people constantly for the last 18 months, with sometimes having seven new employees at a time, with only six full-time employees here on any given day. Through it all, Crystal has managed to keep up with the requirements for training these new employees, while also getting the patient results to the doctors in a timely manner. This is no small feat. Michelle Conrad, Director, Finance and Administration, Department of Biology. Michelle has held a large department together through enormous staffing challenges. She has tirelessly done the work of multiple staff members, ensuring smooth department function while also working to fill empty positions. In countless ways, visible and invisible, Michelle has contributed enormously to the successes of the department and performed far beyond the normal expectations of her position. Paul Isaac, Program Coordinator, Chemistry. Paul's work in the Department of Chemistry is so efficient and effective, it's easy to forget just how many things rely on his efforts. Paul's work is central to the way we serve our students and the way our program operates. While his impacts may come in small increments, his overall impact cannot be overstated. James Hardwick, Motor Equipment Mechanic, UW Facilities, Fleet Services. Jimmy is always thinking in a different way and completing difficult work in an efficient manner. He comes to work ready for a brand new day. His work at Fleet Services keeps the campus running. Marcia Monroe, Access Services Supervisor, UW Tacoma Library. Marcia is the kind face of our institution, the ever energetic leader of our student staff the tireless support for those in our community needing an extra dose of encouragement, and she is the friend and colleague we all wish we could have and who we wish we could be. Marcia is the University of Washington Tacoma Library. Bill Freeberg, Program Operations Specialist, School of Medicine, Radiology Education. Bill has provided consistent support and knowledge to members of the education team in the Department of Radiology. His knowledge of GME and UWMC policies and procedures help him quickly decipher when administrative situations require additional support or need to be elevated to the department level. Oh. Lauren Updike, Director for the Whole U, UW Human Resources. Her title is Director for the Whole U, but it is her whole heart that she puts into the program she helped to develop and now leads. Lauren's drive to make the whole U program the best it can be comes from her sincere desire to give back to the UW community she feels such a part of. And now back, back to work. <laughs> program Operations, Spokane Foundation Site, School of Medicine, Emily Drake, Deborah Green, Aaron Van Antwerp, Carol Wiegand. The program operations team at the WAMI Spokane Foundation site has successfully transitioned the program into a new facility and a new curriculum over the course of 2022. They have addressed all of the physical and technological aspects of moving to a new facility while simultaneously handling the logistical and educational aspects of our new medical school schedule. Without their efforts, the Spokane Foundation site would not be the success story that it is today. ITS Cares Month Leadership Team, UW Medicine. Serena Carlson, Nina Etier, 
Emily Jacobson, Vanessa Lipton, Elena Morano, Lisa Pugliafico, Angelique Hinton, Stephanie Schuster, Kirsten Haynes, Rico Kirksey. This team has done an incredible job of bringing together UW Medicine IT Services employees for an immensely positive impact on our communities. Their leadership generated over $28,000 of value for over 20 nonprofits, including UW Medicine, by engaging over 100 employees and their families and friends during the course of the five week ITS CARES Month campaign. We celebrate the success of the team in 2022 campaign and are already looking to achieve even more next year. <laughs> Merchant Services, UW fin Finance, Fom Chow, Anthony Dornicher, Melissa Hall, Hannah Kenny, Gordon Scherer. This team has an enormous task, the facilitation and compliance of credit cards throughout the university enterprise over six million transactions, hundreds of millions of dollars in revenue, and tens of thousands of customers rely on them every day. The Office of Merchant Services team is a recognized leader in the payment card space, both nationally and abroad. <laughs> Title IX Husky Prevention and Response Course Implementation, UW Compliance and Risk Services. Melise Chabau, Michael Mooney, Valerie Richardson, Kiana Swearington. This team was charged with implementing and executing the launch of the university's first ever required Title IX prevention and education training for all employees and students. The work of this team has been and continues to be critical to the university's ongoing ability to ensure the successful implementation, assignment, tracking of course completion and reporting which represents a transformational step forward for the university and its community. We will now recognize our DSA nominees under the impact category that are participating on our live stream. Cheryl Shaw, Program Manager, Department of Pediatric Dentistry. Often we don't take the time to recognize the soft skills that are foundational for more measurable things like high board scores, academic rankings, and even the number of patients who receive excellent clinical care. Few people have the ability to really know you while simultaneously addressing every tiny detail needed to ensure a top-notch training program remains exceptional. Cheryl is that person. Julia Scanlon, Director of Strategy and Operations, Center for an Informed Public. Julia is a passionate, authentic, and humble leader. She has built a vibrant and supportive community for our students, postdocs, faculty, and affiliates as we work to address a societally critical challenge, enhancing societal resistance to harmful misinformation. Skyla Savage, Human Resources Specialist, UW Human Resources. Skyla manages and facilitates UW Welcome Day to ensure that employees are welcomed and get the information needed to start their employment at UW on the right foot. It's unusual for a single employee to have such a wide range of impact. We are very fortunate to have Skyla as a university representative in this space. Rhonda Rodriguez, Patient Services Specialist, UWMC Diabetes Clinic. Rhonda is an integral component of the clinic and is a tireless advocate for patients. Her authentic concern and caring approach instantly offer comfort and engender trust, making a remarkable positive difference to patients' experience. Laurel Kaiser, Budgeting Team Manager, UW Medicine Clinical Trials Office. Laurel is a dedicated employee who is passionate about her position and her employees and goes out of her way to make sure that we have what we need to be successful and the resources to do our jobs. Words cannot describe how much she is an asset to the University of Washington. Colleen Irvin, Program Operations Specialist, School of Medicine, Bioengineering. Colleen provided continuous in-person support for research and teaching during the pandemic that allowed students, staff, and faculty to carry on. She was often the only staff person in the building. By being there, she helped to create a sense of normalcy to the benefit of all. Matt Bartels, Assistant Director for Student Services, The Graduate School. Matt is the heart and soul of the Human Computer Interaction and Design Program. 
He has worked endlessly to support and foster our community of like-minded people at the intersection of art and design who are truly lucky to have him as their mentor, guiding hand and support system. Rachel Foote, Associate Director for Academic Operations, UW Bothell, School of Interdisciplinary Arts and Sciences. Rachel is a leader with impact who understands how to vision sustainably and strategically for the future. She takes time to build relationships, listening, offering insight, navigating difficulties, and celebrating successes. Josh Larios, IT Manager, Burke Museum. Josh is committed to the Burke Museum's mission and works to make it a reality. As a member of the Burke community, he consistently brings empathy and warmth to the often impersonal and intimidating area of technology. And last but not least, Got Burnout, UW Medical Center, Marie Cockerham, and Sherry Constantino Shore. This team is the face and spirit of well-being at UWMC. Their project, the Got Burnout series, has created a space for people to share with each other what was hard in the moment. The response has been remarkable, with hundreds of people joining, doctors, nurses, MAs, respiratory therapists, trainees, and senior staff. Simply put, these two leaders have moved the dial on the well-being of many and started to evolve our culture, so we focus on well-being as a priority. Please join me in congratulating all of our nominees being celebrated for making a significant impact at the University of Washington. Nominees under the innovation category, innovation category. Please stand and assemble to my right. Individual nominees, please stand at the front of the line. Team nominees, please group together towards the back of the line. I would now like to welcome Assistant Director for UWMC Radiology and DSA Selection Committee member, Reka Matkin, to the stage and introduce you all to Renee Chang, Dean of the College of Built Environments. Hello everyone. At UW, we can always count on interesting and pioneering discoveries as well as novel approaches to completing our work. Innovation is critical to positive change and our staff members regularly put that innovation on display. I see this day to day in the College of Built Environments, but also in the fields of public health, computer science, social work, information science, and environmental action. Everyone who is being celebrated today is part of these trailblazing efforts. You show us all what's possible as you push the envelope towards, creating cre uh, towards seeking creative solutions in your work. Let's all take a moment to congratulate and celebrate the staff members who are specifically being recognized today for their innovation. Terry Hill, Director of Orientation and Transition Programs, UW Bothell Enrollment Management and Student Affairs. Terry is being nominated for his outstanding contribution to student success. He is the campus lead for the First Gen Forward recognition and the immensely successful peer coaching program for incoming students that creates a meaningful sense of belonging for new students at UW Bothell. Robert Hendricks, Assistant IT Director, School of Social Work. Robert's continuously innovative ideas are applied to solving some of the school's most challenging technical problems. His commitment to innovate service is always present and his willingness to creatively empower those around him any time of the day or night to reach their greatest success. <laughs> Natasha Fokune, Director, UW Counseling Center. At the core, Natasha is a healer. She is thoughtful, supportive, observant, and a keen listener. 
She brings an innovation mindset, affects change at a systems level, and invites stakeholders into a process of shared leadership. Natasha works tirelessly to improve mental health services for students at UW Seattle. Her leadership and organizational change resulted in the merger of two mental health units into one. Paul Preston, Technology Manager, UW Enterprise Web Services. In his nearly 17 years as a technology leader at UW, Paul has designed and built many of the technology building blocks that help the UW function day to day. His solutions help students assert their preferred name, researchers plan their grant projects, and engineers across UW securely access, access information they need to do their work. Jane Scow, Office Manager and Building Coordinator, Human-Centered Design and Engineering. Jane sets that bar for what it means to be department personnel who truly leads and invests greatly in our community. They work to ensure that students are recognized, respected, and accommodated, always fostering an environment of inclusion and acceptance. Jane is the glue that keeps the department running. <laughs> Gulnor Sharif, Imaging Technologist, CT Supervisor, UWMC Radiology. Gulnor is an outstanding CT Supervisor in the Radiology Department at UWMC Montlake. Through her innovation, eye towards process improvement, her steadiness, kindness, and positive attitude, she helped us not only to survive, but thrive through the global crisis of idenated contrast media shortage. <laughs> Gungya Yu, Principal Network Engineer, UW Medicine IT Services. As an educator, mentor, architect, and network engineer, Gungya has gone far above and beyond that of most IT professionals. Gungya joined our organization in 2001 and we're extremely grateful to have had so much time to learn from him and grow. He is the backbone of the ITS Networks team. Husky Coronavirus Testing Team, School of Medicine. Zach Aker, Julia Bennett, Sabrina Best, Amanda Castow, Chris Fraser, Louise Gamboa, Sarah Heidel, Natalie Lowe, Kyle Lutian, Catherine McCaffrey, Evan McDermott, Devin McDonald, Jessica O'Hanlon, Jordan Upsall, Brian Fow, David Reinhardt, Leslie Rodriguez Salas, Sanjay Shrivutsen, Caitlin Wolf, Tessa Wright, Erica Reich. This team exemplifies the UW's reputation for innovation and represents an important contribution to its number three ranking among public universities in the US. In the midst of COVID-19 pandemic, these UW staff members committed to public health, scientific innovation, and most importantly, to saving lives. Together, they created an innovative and effective system to provide rapid and reliable testing to students, staff, and faculty at all three UW campuses. In addition to staff, approximately 200 graduate and undergraduate students have served on the team since its inception and received invaluable experience for their future studies and careers. <laughs> College of Built Environments Research Portal Publication Project, Logan Bridge, Jen Davison, Brian Vogt, Allison Michelson. This team worked together on the College of Built Environments Research Portal Publications Project. They created a novel process for gathering over a decade of journal publications across the College of Built Environments and celebrating that collection in a visual way on the college's website. This team incorporated expertise from the libraries, Markham, and the Office of Research brought joy, passion, and excitement to what at times were fairly tedious tasks of standardizing hundreds of citations across a variety of disciplines to create a stunning website project. We will now recognize our DSA nominees under the innovation 
category that are participating in our live stream. Yuli Wang, Senior Scientist, School of Medicine, Bioengineering. Yuli has a broad background and experience in developing innovative organ on chips and biomedical micro devices for cellular and tissue analysis and isolation with specific training and expertise in key research areas for this application. Please join me in congratulating all of our nominees being celebrated for their ability to innovate and create lasting change. And now we come to the conclusion of, of this reception. Once, once again, we thank all the nominees and each and every one of you for attending today. Let's give all the nominees a final, final round of applause. Thank you all for coming today and please take a cupcake on your way out.